The super yeast bacterium that I'm in fact that I was infected with releases a deadly toxin which has the ability to use electrical charges among other methods to attract key nutrients like iron, magnesium, chromium, calcium, B vitamins, folic acid, etc. like a magnet and you know it attracts these these are the nutrients the body needs for survival and then the toxin molecule will get them first before the body does. And then once the toxin absorbs the nutrients, it turns into a huge food blob molecule that's the perfect food for the remaining living yeast cells in the body. The rest of the yeast cells floating around, floating around say, yummy, yummy, and they eat the food, food blob. End result, you kill one yeast, you get about 50 more. This explains why I've always had a problem with iron deficiency anemia, B vitamin anemia, and not enough magnesium. Because this germ eats magnesium via its toxin, I have always had a severe magnesium deficiency. I have to make sure I get plenty from my diet. The toxin probably also eats vitamin E and many other key nutrients the body needs for survival. It kills its victim by gradual starvation because the germ eats all the nutrients the body needs for survival. The germ always gets the nutrients first before the body does. Its toxin is a very powerful magnet, magnet to absorb key nutrients the body needs for survival. Oh, I'd like to say that nothing here is intended as medical advice. I'm basically making this video for the doctors out there to help them with some super germs that the Jesuits have created in their laboratories. This yeast germ also confuses the body's immune system and the patient develops severe food, chemical, and regular allergies. I've actually become allergic to the yeast toxin itself and um, Jesus said that he made Seroquel just for me. The Seroquel works in mental illness by correcting chemical imbalances in the brain cells, but it's believed that many mental illnesses occur because of chemical imbalances in the brain cells. And a lot of these imbalances may be occurring because of impurities within the brain cells that cause the electrical charges to be off balance. And by removing these impurities, Seroquel helps alleviate the symptoms of many mental illnesses by correcting imbalances in the brain cells. However, Seroquel not only corrects the chemical electrical imbalances in the brain cells or the chemical imbalances, it also does it throughout the body. Therefore, if a patient takes Seroquel and is, and is infected with the super yeast bacterium like I was, which Jesuits created in their laboratory, Seroquel will cleanse the cells throughout the entire body of impurities, including the super yeast and its deadly toxins. And because this yeast eats its own poop or its own toxins, which turn into its perfect food after the toxin has stolen key nutrients from the body, you can't kill it if you want to cure the patient. It has to be flushed out of the body without killing it. You also need to stop feeding the germ and only get your nutrients from food, uh, which means the number of supplements you take has to be really limited because the fillers in many supplements feed the germ also. And this is stuff I've learned from experience. So the less you take, the better if you have this infection. I only, I can only, Jesus told me only to take an antihistamine, painkillers, and a multivitamin. He said, that's and the Seroquel. I said, that's it, Gail, no more. And he does let me take stuff like Sudafed for the allergies. He said, allergy medication, painkillers, multivitamin, that's it, Gail. I'm under orders from Jesus. Another thing, this germ is a hybrid yeast bacterium. The reason I know this is because when I take antibiotics, it's better for the first day. It's also true if I take like Nystatin or Diflucan, which are yeast killing medicines. For the first 24 hours, I feel somewhat better after I take an antibiotic or yeast killing medicine. But the day after that, I feel worse. And what has happened is the first day, a lot of the super yeast bacterium have died as a result of the antibiotic or yeast killing medication killing them off. However, the dead yeast release their toxin, which becomes food and fertilizer for the rest of the living yeast there. So it's like you kill one, and then you're going to end up with 50 more. So this yeast basically eats its own poop.
Another way to feed the yeast is to take vitamin, mineral supplements, or a lot of supplements. If the yeast toxin's in the body, it, it's like a magnet, and it attracts any nutrients that, that it, 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 there are certain nutrients that it attracts. I'm not sure how it does it, whether it's through electrical charges or what, but it's like a magnet, and this toxin attracts the nutrients from the body and steals it so that um, even if you don't have the infection anymore, but you have the yeast toxin in your body like I do because it's left over from the previous yeast infection I had, uh, if I take uh, iron or ma mag if I was to take iron or magnesium supplements to deal with the deficiency that I which I have because of this germ, the end result will be the toxins will leach onto the magnesium or the iron first, and then my body gets the leftovers, and I'll have more of the toxin that has been transformed into yeast food in my body, which would be a perfect setup of when Zach Knight starts. In, uh, inundating me with yeast, which he does. He'll sprinkle it. He does. He sprinkles it like above. He'll have his agents sprinkle it above my apartment. He's trying to reinfect me. He realizes I'm no longer infected with the yeast. He's trying to reinfect me. He puts it in anything and everything he can get away with. So Jesus said, you must keep taking your Seroquel and following my orders, Gail, which means no supplements except for vitamin mineral, allergies, and painkilling medicine. That's it for, for me. Because uh, Zach Knight is obsessed with me. So basically, and if I took a bunch of supplements, I would have more yeast toxin that's been transformed into yeast food. It turns into like a food blob, and it'd be just waiting for any yeast to show up so that it can fertilize them as soon as they show up, because that's their food. Jesus uh, said it's okay for me to take one vitamin mineral supplement. My body tends to be deficient because of the super yeast or its toxin. The toxin is the magnet. The supplements... Ha apparently have the vitamin and mineral, which is the, in the perfect form for easy absorption by the yeast toxin. Helping to create more food blobs, the yeast toxin actually turns into a food blob for the yeast when it starts absorbing all the nutrients for the from the body that it needs to feed the yeast. But let's say you're cured of the yeast infection like, like I am right now, but you have leftover yeast toxin in just about all your cells because my infection was systemic. The yeast toxin will still absorb nutrients because that's the nature of the yeast toxin. It's like a magnet. It absorbs, it steals food nutrients, you know, from your body. Uh, but it, uh, it can do it also if you eat from food sources, but not as well as from supplements. Therefore, it's better to get your nutrients from food rather than supplements if you have this infection. Um, bottom line. If you're infected with the super yeast, you must not kill the germ. Both antibiotics and yeast killing medications make it worse because you basically, it, it dies, it explodes its toxins, and then it eats its own poop, you know, which are the toxins that turn into food blobs once they absorb all the nutrients from the body. Um, you, you must make sure to eat well every day with special emphasis on foods rich in iron, magnesium, and the B vitamins which seem to be the nutrients most absorbed by this yeast toxin. I've learned this from personal experience dealing with this. I, I'm very in tune to my body, too. Chromium, like in sweet potatoes, seems to be a favorite with this yeast. In 2009, in the spring, I, I pigged out on sweet potatoes. The next day, I felt ready for the hospital. I mean, I became very hypoglycemic and dizzy. I had to call out for three days. I didn't go to the hospital because I knew they couldn't deal with the yeast. And finally, the Lord showed me, he said, you, better, you need to lay off them sweet potatoes and, <laughs> and start eating liver support foods. And then, then I was able to get back to work. But it really messed up my sugar balance. So when you have this infection, it messes up your sugar balance. Uh, it's very important to drink a lot of water when you're on Seroquel to assist the body in purging impurities. This helps Seroquel clear out the impurities and the yeast and its toxins. Very important to eat well while on Seroquel for yeast treatment. I found the best diet is one rich in iron, B vitamins, magnesium, vitamin E, and folic acid, which seem to be the key nutrients absorbed by the yeast toxin. Um, kelp or seaweed, I'm finding, is very beneficial for me. I feel so much better when I eat that. Apparently, it's a very, very concentrated. That in combination with azuki or red beans and rice, that seems like the perfect food for somebody like me. Currently, 
I don't have the yeast infection, but I do have leftover yeast toxin in my body, which is giving me canker sores, um, sh shoulder aches, because the toxin's heading towards certain parts of my body. The canker sores are also being caused by a vitamin mineral deficiency, so I have to remember to eat well. Kelp or seaweed is really good. Um, Zach Knight and the Jesuits, like I said, are contaminating anything and everything they can get away to reinfect me. It's very important for me to take Seroquel every day. I must not take any vitamin and mineral supplements beyond the basics, or else the yeast thrown at me through my environment will have perfect food waiting for them because of all the food blobs created from the yeast toxin. The yeast toxin transforms into a food blob uh, by absorbing the nutrients from the body, like I said earlier. Because I wasn't getting enough B vitamins, magnesium, vitamin E, and folic acid, I was suffering excruciating leg, leg cramps the past couple days. I finally, and that also caused the canker sores on my tongue. None of these got any better until I improved my diet. But, but, it's, but I have to get the nutrients through food and not supplements. Because um, if you take supplements, you increase the amount of toxin, which will transform into food blobs or yeast food. Once the nutrients are absorbed into the toxin from the body, they turn into food blobs, for the ye perfect food blobs for the yeast, and they're also no longer accessible to your body either. Nutrients inside of food are not as easily absorbed by the yeast toxin, so those with the super yeast bacterium infection, you must rely primarily on Seroquel and a very good diet for maintenance. The Jesuits have the cure to this yeast infection, and they should make it available to the general public. That's one of the reasons I'm making this video. After all, they're the ones who created this super yeast bacterium. In the meanwhile, our medical scientists need to come up with a way to purge the yeast toxins from the body effectively, maybe faster than Seroquel. Um, see, I've also got an allergy to the yeast toxin, so that even aggravates problems for me. I've developed an allergy to this yeast toxin. Seroquel is our best answer so far. Perhaps the Jesuits have the cure to this as well. If so, they should be forced to turn it over. And any other illnesses they've created, we should investigate and interrogate all their scientists to determine which other super germs they created, the AIDS virus too, they have created and demand that they turn over the cure. Actually, the AIDS virus has been cured. Jesus gave us the cure after the new cocky in Canada. I'll deal with that later in another video. If not, or in my book, The Forbidden Abyss Part 2. If not, if they won't turn over the cure, we're going to add these genetically engineered super germs onto the, onto the list of war crimes against the human race, which is the new trial that we have with the Jesuit order right now. So Jesuits, turn it over. As I was saying, we do have a new trial going on against the Jesuits. We're getting them for war crimes against the human race. And uh, a large part of this is super germs they create to eliminate their enemies. And they kill a lot of innocent people with this. They created the AIDS virus. They created, they are behind many of the horrible flu epidemics we've had in the past. Um, and what we are demanding that they turn over the cure to these illnesses. They don't like to get sick from these themselves, so they have the cure to just about everything that they create. Um, Vladimir Putin's wife, Larissa, died from the same yeast infection that I'm infected with. Uh, they, the reason that happened is because they misdiagnosed her with breast cancer, and then they found out too late that she had the super yeast bacterium. And they put her on chemotherapy, which ended up killing, weakening her immune system, which is terrible with this yeast infection. You need a strong immune system, and it all, chemotherapy also kills his cells. And so while it was killing so the alleged cancer cells, it was actually killing the yeast bacterium, releasing the toxin, which made the, which turned into food blobs for the yeast, and for basically, basically it was fertilizing the yeast infection. By the time they found out that they had misdiagnosed her, it was too late. They tried to stop the yeast, and it was just so rampant in her body, and she died. This has devastated Vladimir, and it's, he's a, he, he's been so horrified over this. He was in denial that what his, of what his wife died over because he knew I had the same problem. But now that Jesus has been curing me, he's dealing with it better now.